we got sheep's head right here. We definitely got sheep's head right here. Definitely gonna need a net for this guy. Oh guys, that's a monster vision. <laughs> I believe I could have limited out today, guys. <laughs> that was a big sheep's head. They're stacked down there, man. Vision, vision, vision. I got me a sheep's head hole, baby. They are stacked on this corner, man. They are stacked. There he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, I am just tearing them up today. <laughs> that was a giant, giant. That is a monster. Hey, Rad Reelers, JC here with the Rad Railing Fish Guy. I'm taking out my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120 today. It's got a 45 pound thrust Minn Kota electric trolling motor. It integrates in the kayak. Kayak comes with the trolling motor. Best kayak out there, you guys. I fish in shallow water, deep water, docks, mangroves, freshwater, salt water. Yeah, this kayak is very versatile and it's super stable. Listen, today, guys, I've got a lithium battery, but it's not the same one that I got a few months ago. I got the Ampere Time, right? Well, Lie Time is the new name for Ampere Time. They are rebranding. They sent me a new 12 volt, 100 amp hour marine type battery. Look how light that is, guys. <laughs> I love these lithium batteries. They are so light. Anyway, we're gonna get this hooked up today, guys. I'll put links in the description area. Make, you head over, make sure you head over to Lie Time and uh, check out what they have to offer. They may even have a deal for you in the description area. So we're gonna get this hooked up, then we're gonna go do some catch and cook. Well, we're gonna try and do a catch and cook. That is the plan, so let's get on. Like I said, it's super lightweight. It comes with these plastic covers for the uh, positive and the negative turn terminal so the way these the way these terminals work you just need a phillips screwdriver and uh just loosen those terminals with the phillips you can finger tighten them really really quick get them finger tight we're just going to give them a good lock down with our phillips double check it okay we're good to go. All right, guys, I got everything put together. My electric motor, camera boom. I got mud crabs, tackle boxes, bump board, drinks. I got my goodies in here. I got shrimp back here. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, well, let's get them. First stop, see if I can pick a sheep's head off right here with a mud crab. Got to be a sheep's head up in there, right? Perfect size mud crab right there. I like to break a pincher off. And then I just run the hook right through where I, I broke the pincher off and I bring it out the back of the crab like that. There we go. Let's give it a try, see what happens. I'm gonna have to put on a little split shot. Getting a hit. Ah, I missed him. There he is, there he is. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a tank sheep said. I knew there was a sheep head down there. I knew it. Yeah, my head, my hat camera wasn't running. It's a big one, guys. That's a big one. Big old sheeper. We're gonna need a net for this guy. Definitely gonna need a net for this guy. Oh yeah, that's a that's a catch and cook sheep's head right there. Yeah, baby. Woo -hoo! Nice. Nice sheep's head, man. Dude, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah. All right. Took me five baits. I knew there was one down there. You little sneaky guy. Nice sheep's head, guys. Really, really good one. Heck yeah. Keeper, sheeper. Bleed these guys out a couple different ways. Right underneath this peck fin, you can just stick your needle nose pliers in there and then i just go ahead and i like to poke underneath the gill cover too all right let me just turn him down that way let that blood blood drain out oh man that is a nice sheep's head holy smokes that's a big one <laughs> guys i'm i'm telling you i i've been here i've been here like 20 minutes had five hits and caught one nice they are chewing down there. I mean, he was in the junk though. I, I felt him on there. He was like pulling, 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 pulling. I had just turned off both of the cameras and I was gonna get them reset and he hit when I had the cameras off. 
but he was just pulling 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 and i set the hook and it was nothing but like structure but i could feel him on there and then he came out baby he must have been wrapped around and piling but i gotta get retied i'm freighted up pretty good here so nice we're going in a little bit more he's got it guys there he is oh that's a good one that's a good one another good one there we go there we go fish on baby i don't know if he's a keeper we got sheepers we're gonna let him go he's probably about ten and a half thanks buddy see if we got another one down there both times as soon as it hit the bottom i got a hit as soon as it got down there bam we might have some hungry sheepers right here we're about to find out having a good time got another hit oh I missed him I missed him dang it Here we go. We got sheep's head right here. We definitely got sheep's head right here. Yep, there he is. There he is. Another hit. Another hit right away. As soon as it gets down there, they get it. There he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I lost him. I lost him. God, that was a giant. That was a freaking giant. <laughs> he was wrapped back around the back of the piling. Holy smokes. <laughs> that was a big sheep's head. I'm gonna get our sheep's head bagged up here. He has lost all of his color. All right, all right, all right. Hey, we did pretty good in that spot. I'm gonna head over to another spot here. I knew there'd be sheep's head under there. I fished that place with shrimp so many times. Caught little mangrove snapper. I've never fished it with crabs. I'm telling you guys, crabs is definitely the way to go for sheep's head. Crabs are barnacles, right? Been catching the heck out of sheep's head on both of those. But yeah, let's head up there. There's a bunch of pilings in this, this little marina up here. This place that I'm going is probably going to be loaded with sheep's head. Just slap load. <laughs> Ooh, I'm having a good old time. Let's go get them. Man, this wind is really starting to blow today. 20 mile an hour gusts. And uh, you can see why I picked this shore. The wind's blowing this way. We got all the buildings and obviously the, the shore and stuff protecting us from the wind. But yeah, out there, it's going to be blowing white caps out there. But I got a bunch of rocks up here, guys. I want to just cruise up here around these rocks and see if I can see any schools of sheep's head or any fish up here around these rocks. Oh yeah, I just, I saw like five sheep's head come shooting out of those rocks. Huh, a little spooky, definitely. Well dude, if there's sheep's head here at these rocks, these docks over here are probably gonna be slap loaded with sheep's head. You got it? I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, I can still see him down there. Let's catch one. That was such a solid hit right there. I mean, he just picked it up and started going with it. So I'm just going to free line this crab down there. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Dude, my kayak is swinging all around. Come on, man. Freaking wind. Blowing like crazy. Come on, kayak. Yeah, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh my God, back behind the kayak. Fish on, <laughs> fish on, <laughs> fish on. It's a good one, that's a good one. Look at that rod bend, guys. Look at that rod bend. Oh yeah, another keeper. Another keeper sheeper, a nice keeper sheeper.
good sheep's head. Come on, big guy. Get in that net. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, that's a, that is a fine sheep's head right there. That is a monster, monster, monster sheep's head. Dude, I can't believe my kayak, kayak decided to swing around. One, two, three, four, five. Kayak decided to swing around when that guy bit. He's freaking behind the boat. I knew I was gonna get a hit. They're stacked down there, man. Hey, if you're new to the channel, guys, I absolutely love this time of year. Sheep's head are just all over the place. Find some pilings, and you're probably gonna find some sheep's head, but we still got some mud crabs left. I still got three dozen shrimp, and uh, I can always scrape some barnacles if I wanna just keep trying to catch sheep's head. So let's drop another crab down there and uh, see if we can get them. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Dude, that's a fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big one. That's a freaking good one. Heck yeah, baby. Here we go. There we go. I gotta navigate this thing out of here. Oh yeah, that's another good one there. Another nice one. Come on, baby. Let's turn them up. Nice fish. Another keeper sheeper. You know I love it. There we go. Another nice sheep said. That's three. I'm not going to keep any more. That's enough for me for lunch and dinner. All right, all right, all right. Got us some sheep's head floor mats. So that's keeper number three. That's definitely enough for me, guys. We'll do a catch, clean, and cook in this video. And I'll keep some fresh sheep's head in the refrigerator. I don't like them frozen that much. So I'm not going to be freezing sheep's head anymore. Um, yeah, they get a strange flavor after you freeze them. At least I think so. Fresh is definitely the way to go. But I got about 10 mud crabs left here. And uh, yeah, mud crabs, definitely the way to go. Anytime you can find rocks along the shore, guys flip those rocks get you some mud crabs don't get the crabs that have stripes on their legs or they're kind of an orangish beige color they are different colored than the mud crabs very distinct stripes on their legs those are stone crabs don't get those all right okay well i'm having a good time here let's see if we can get another one this hook size right here is probably a like a number number one or a number two very small hook you don't need a big hook for sheep's head you need a stout hook for sheep's head. You hook into a big one, you'll lose him if you don't have a good stout hook. But one, two, three, four. I'm getting them in between four and five. But like I said, there's sheep's head all, all I, I mean, as soon as I pulled up, I started seeing sheep's head. There he is, there he, oh my goodness, that's a good one. Oh guys, that's a monster. That's a, oh, he got me. Blah. He got me tangled up in the pilings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was a big one. Holy freaking smokes. Man, he just like, I was putting my heat on him, but he was right in the pilings already. So 20 pound test, what are you going to do? They just break it. This water's so clear, I'm fishing with 20 pound test today. Dang it, dude. <laughs> that was a giant, giant sheep's head, man. Giant. <laughs> monster that's a hit that's a hit there he is there he is yeah he's a little, little baby compared to that one i just lost you see how easy that guy came out of there dude that one i lost was twice that big twice that big he'd be a keeper though i think he'd be a keeper sheeper I mean, I've got a bump board I can put him on. I'm sure he'll be a keeper sheeper. Ones I've been catching are like 14, 15 inches. Cute little guy. <laughs> Thanks for the catch, buddy. Woohoo! See? Ya. I think I got about four mud crabs left. We're doing pretty good here. That's a fish. That's a fish. There he is. There he is. Yep. 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 Got another one. 
Boy, he is really dark. Very dark compared to the other ones. Nice sheeper. <laughs> we get them. We are getting the sheeps. Oh yeah. We are getting them sheep's head, baby. We're getting them good. And the sun is hitting him. He's got some pretty colors. All right, buddy. Thanks. Nice. Really enjoying this a lot. He hit a little bitty crab. I got another little bitty crab here I'm going to put on. See if we can get another one. I'm, just, I'm still just freelining these crabs. But anytime you have a cluster of pilings or you got two of them that are close together like that, um, I always find that sheep's head are attract the the more structure they have to hide in and the more food sources in one small area that's where you'll find them but like i said i got a feeling they are all along here it's just that time of year right i got me a sheep's head hole baby we're getting a hit right now he is on the move he is on the move baby oh yeah Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good sheep set. I believe I could have limited out today, guys. They are stacked on this corner, man. They are stacked. Wow. Nice. We're gonna keep this guy too. He swallowed it. Dude, I am just tearing them up today. The light time battery, yeah, it's performing like a champ. I knew that it would though. I mean, I already had a, the same lithium battery from the company, right? So, and they're reasonably priced. I mean, my, I think you can get a 100 amp hour battery for less than $400. I mean, lithium, come on. Heck yeah. That ought to do it. Even though the tide's coming in. Oh yeah. A nice, nice little shady spot right here. We can do some clean, cleaning and cooking right in here, I think. Heck yeah, let's get it done. Fill aim up. Love this knife right here for cleaning sheep's head. Works really good. So I like to just poke my knife right here in between the first and the second dorsal fin to get it started. You see there's a little bitty flap of skin right there you poke your knife under. And this knife's pretty sharp. I just like to cut them across that way not bad once we get it started should be able to just fillet that bad boy right on down lifting the skin up out of the way and just running the knife along the backbone I get around the anal fin i just stick the knife through and i finish flaying it down towards the tail but i don't cut it all the way through And then uh, we should be able to just cut right through the ribs now. Whoa, come back here. About to drop my sheep's head in the sand. I have a tendency to do that in my catch and cook videos. There we go. Found that soft spot. Tell you what, sheep's head, that soft spot around their ribs is a lot softer than the crappie spot. Dude, those crappie are hard to... They are hard to cut through the ribs let's get the skin off of this guy just get your knife started in between the skin and the meat keep it tight to the skin sheep's head skin is thick and tough so you don't usually have to worry about cutting through the skin but filleting fish definitely takes practice so get out there and catch you some fish so you get lots of practice right I'm just gonna come and follow the rib line again. Cut those ribs out. Sheep said have a large rib cage, very large rib cage. Okay. Yeah, I can feel a, I can feel a lot of bones right in there. Come back here and cut that V out. There we go. That's looking pretty good right there. Let's 
save those in case the game warden comes by. I love kayak fishing, guys. It'll put you on the fish, definitely. Pretty nice and cool right here in this spot. Oh yeah, we got heat. Give this filet a coat of a little bit of lemon pepper. Having a good time out here. I love doing the catch and cooks, the catch, clean and cooks. It, it's fun to get out there and catch them and then just take a break, come up on the beach. Look at that deliciousness. Almost looks blackened, blackened lemon pepper. Finish that off with a little garlic. Woo, baby. Gonna be deliciousness. Got a little bit of squeezed garlic left in here. I think I'll go ahead and use this in this first batch. What I've got left in there. The thing is you don't wanna you don't wanna burn your garlic, right? So you save that for last after you get your fish cooked. And drop that garlic in there and rub it all around in the garlic. Add lemon pepper and butter. Woo. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be deliciousness. I had a drink somewhere. I had some tea. I don't, oh, there's my tea. Sitting out here in the hot sun. Should pull my kayak up. The tide is coming in. I might lose my kayak if I don't pull it up. Right. I do not want to have to swim to get a kayak today, that's for sure. I like my nice little cozy spot. One other thing here, I got some Greek pasta. I got this from Publix. And that's how we do it, right there. I'm gonna try this fish. Mmm, mm-mm. Is hot, fresh out of the frying pan. Mm-hmm. You know it's good. You gotta go light on that lemon pepper. Very light. I think I got a little too much on there. That's good though. Very good. That's pretty much it. Had a great time out here. Thanks for coming along.